she is one year old female child who was referred to us from a pediatrician for a recurrent urinary tract infection on ultrasonography she revealed to have a large blood stool on further evaluation we did an ivp ivp showed a large filling defect in the bladder part with an upper gelatial 1.5 to 2 cm filling defect we planned two stage surgery for this child this is a video demonstration of transurethral endocysto laser lithotripsy of a large bladder stone in a 1 year old female child this child as described earlier presented with a large bladder stone with right renal upper gelatial stones we contemplated the surgery in two stages in the first stage we are dealing with the large bladder stone this is a 550 micron fiber introduced through 8 by 9.8 french urs and the energy settings being 0.3 joule and 50 repetition rate with this energy setting we are using what is known as paint on brush technique and we are actually writing or painting on the stone surface and pulverizing the stone one can very well appreciate that the stone is lying stand still and hardly it moves here or there comparing it with the conventional numeric lithorepter we would have had to make a suprapubic tract and taken out the stone after fragmenting with the help of forceps while here we need not retrieve any of the fragments and we are gradually going round and round and pulverizing the stone into small dust like fragments this stone was characteristic in having a very fragile shell and a very hard core so as we approach the core part we had to change the settings to 0.5 joule energy and 40 repetition rate and once we have uh, completed the lithotripsy you can appreciate all these small fragments which were uh, thought to be washed out and lastly we have put a digest stand anticipating the rirs in the next sitting looking at the small pediatric age group we had to remove one or two fragments so as to get the stone analysis and subsequent guidance for the metabolic workup looking at the burden of fragments which we have left we were curious enough to see what happens ultimately when we did the second stage and to our pleasant surprise we could see there was a complete clearance of all the bladder fragments from the bladder and uh, patient hardly had any symptoms during this 15 days the female sex of patient helped us a lot in this management after ensuring complete clearance of all the bladder fragments on the second look uh, cystoscopy we took out the digest stent and introduced 9.5 french urethral access sheath up into the pc system the pre placement of stent helped us a lot in inserting this sheath in a 1 year old child after entering into the pelvis we could see a 1.5 cm stone sitting pretty in the upper calyx we used 365 micron fibers through our 7.5 french flexes to flexible urethral endoscope and targeted the stone by the time we were contemplating the second stage we already have got the stone analysis report which showed us to be xanthine stone and as expected it was relatively hard to fragment so again we have gone back to the high power lasers low energy and high frequency setting and took little bit time and patience to pulverize the stone starting from periphery and then going into the center since this kid was only 1 year old we had few worries during the surgery <coughs> we had maintained a very low pressure irrigation system and used pathfinder intermittently whenever we need a better vision second worry was the likelihood of infection because of the higher intranasal pressure we had covered the child with a higher antibiotics during the surgery as well as in the post operative phase and last worry was the clearance of the fragments through a small ureter for that particular reason we had ensured a third look check flexible nephroscopy to make sure complete clearance of all the stones and all the fragments through ureter we were using 9.5 french access sheet through the small pediatric ureter one more concern was any untoward effect on the ureteral mucosa so after completing the procedure we had thoroughly inspected the entire length of ureter with flexible urs and we could see no untoward effect on ureter at any point of time this was the final picture looking at the small fragments and a very healthy ureter